modern farming operations require careful planning in order for profit to result. Hauling hay from the field to the storage site is one example of where savings can result if the right equipment is used. The right equipment consists of such things as tractors used in the field and especially the haulage trailers that move the hay from the field back to the storage site. One of the keys to savings is how compatible are the haulage trailers to the tractors being used in the field. Will those devices match in speed and ability to move rapidly throughout the field? The answer is the Red Rhino. It comes in two styles, both the bumper hitch and gooseneck models. Once in the field, the Red Rhino really shows its stuff. The tractor is loading the Red Rhino the same as it would with any flatbed trailer, but notice how easy it is to load. The bale is simply placed between the tubular rails and dropped in place. The next bale is then placed behind it and pushed forward until the trailer is completely loaded. That's it. It loads in less than five minutes. The ease at which it moves around the field is exemplified by its heavy-duty construction. As a matter of fact, the Red Rhino is 33% heavier than its nearest competitor. The lights are mounted inside the rectangular tubing, so they're impossible to knock off. So it's road legal as soon as it leaves the field. Comparing that to the flatbed trailer, when the first bale is set, the operator on the tractor has to be very careful so as to balance it on the edge, permitting enough space for the second bale to be placed immediately alongside. If either bale is pushed too far, one will fall off the flatbed. Notice how much time it takes in order to properly position the bale on the trailer. Also, the flatbed is not easily moved about the field, requiring greater time for the tractors to run throughout the field and come back to the flatbed to finish the loading operation. The savings really add up with the Red Rhino with the unloading process. Here we see a tractor unloading the flatbed trailer. A tractor is not needed with the Red Rhino. The tractor has to pick up each bale and position it exactly where it is supposed to go. The tractor lowers the bale into position, backs off the bale, and swings back to the flatbed. This process has to be repeated for every bale on the flatbed. Now notice the Red Rhino now entering the stackyard. It swings into position slightly away from the final resting place for the bales. The driver of the truck steps out of the truck, swings the mechanical arm into position, gently lifts and rolls off all of the bales located on the Red Rhino. The unique design of the Red Rhino takes full advantage of the round bales as they feed into position. When you originally thought about the Red Rhino, what was the deciding factor that uh, made you decide to buy them? Just because it's fast, unloaded fast, loads fast, easy, and it's well built. So how did you come to that conclusion? Um, well, we contacted Dave. He came out to give us a test run with it, and uh, we liked it so much we bought it on the spot. Right there, just saw the, the initial demo? and Yes. Exactly. What was the deciding factor? Was it the loading, the unloading? Uh, what specifically sort of tipped the scales? Um, the unloading and the loading, both are equally as important. Okay, uh, let's talk for a minute about the construction of it. I mean, it's a, it's a clever design, there's no question about that, but um, what about its durability? What do you find? Very good. We've gone in pretty much every place you can imagine. Not only because we've had to, but testing the trailer and its its performance is definitely above the rest. I mean, there's no question about it. So you'd say quality-wise, it would be equal to better than other pieces of farm equipment for durability? Correct. Okay, probably better than. Better than? Yes. A lot of the, what you have. Uh, 
Now we could see as we were looking at the unload process how much faster it is to unload compared to running a tractor, picking them up and hauling them off one at a time. Uh, that must be a significant savings in fuel. Yes, I would guess from my figures of about 30 percent of the fuel we'd use the other way because of time savings and you're on the road so fast. Less tractors out in the field, no tractor to unload them at the storage site. All that adds up. Correct. Now with today's cost of fuel, it's significant. Well, the one thing that a lot of people might think, just looking at the flatbed versus the, the red rhino, that if you had a lot of distance involved, uh, maybe a flatbed would have an advantage uh, based on the number of bales you can get on a flatbed. What, what is your finding? What's the furthest distance you're hauling right now? Well, when it's the process of collection, we've found it's now available to get them all back to the farm, which is convenient for the winter months for selling. But as far as, like I said, the collection process, yes, I, we've gone as far as 20 miles, and it's still more efficient. If we're going to the sale, you know, then we'll load accordingly. But yes, much better. But f field to to stack, you run as much as 20, and you're still finding that you'll save money with a red rhino. Yes, okay. by by a long shot. Well, farming the way it is today, you you run with a pretty sharp pencil if you're going to stay in business. And so, imagine you've done a, a fairly detailed look at the the costs involved in a comparison of that process. Is correct. that fair? Assumption? Very correct. Okay. Yes, it, uh, the bread rhinos aren't that expensive. Is there's to no begin with, to begin to with. Begin <laughs> with? Yes, there's no there's no mechanical or non mechanical parts to it. It's all done by human, and it's easy. Yeah. There's no hydraulics, no motors, no nothing on it. So that makes it a lot simpler and it's inexpensive to buy as compared to other brands. That's one of the things I imagine you look at with farm equipment. Just, okay, what's going to go wrong with it first? Correct. Very much so. Okay. So uh, your initial, if you were approached by a, another producer out there and said, hey, I understand you have a red rhino. What can you tell me about it? So what would be your kind of... Uh, statement that you would make to uh, someone who is prospectively looking at buying a red rhino? One word, it's fast. It's fast and apparently fairly reasonable in price. Correct, okay. correct, correct. Thank you.